Hi everyone, my name is Neha Kardam and in this lecture we are going to learn about numbers we use in digital electronics. So let's first start with the preview of the lecture. So these are the topics which we are going to cover in the lecture, starting with counting in decimal and binary, place value, binary to decimal conversion, decimal to binary conversion, electronic translators, hexadecimal numbers and then octal numbers. So let's first start with counting in decimal and binary. Uh, starting with number system. So number system, uh, it is a code that uses uh, symbols to refer to a number of items. And if we see next is the decimal number system. So this decimal number system, it uses symbols from uh, 0 to 9. Uh, it's like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on till 9. So the decimal uh, number system, it contains 10 symbols and is sometimes called uh, the base of 10 system. And then next we have the binary system. So the binary system, it uses only the two symbols, which is uh, 0 and 1 and is uh, sometimes called the base 2 system. Now next we have the place value. So we're going to see the place value in the binary system. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the place value for binary uh, starting from 1s, 2s, uh, 4s and 8s. And, uh, and then uh, this is binary representation uh, saying yes, yes, no, no, no is for 0, 0, yes is, is for 1. And here is the number uh, which, uh, which uh, corresponds to this yes and no. So as you can see here is yes, that's why we have one ones here. And then wherever you have like no, uh, the, the number will be 0. So the question is how we got uh, this place value. The place value you get uh, from the base value. So the base for the binary is 2s. So if you do the math like 2 to the power uh, 0, then 2 to the power is 0 is 1 and 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8. So that's how the place values in the binary system uh, can be obtained. And based on these place values, we can easily determine the uh, binary number. So we're going to see that next. So here, so the result binary 110 is equals to decimal 8400. So how we got this value? So if you multiply 0 with 1s, it's going to be 0. So and multiply 0 with 2s, uh, uh, it's going to be 0. Multiply 1 with 4, it's going to be 4. 1 with 8 is 8. So the total is decimal 12. So this is our answer and this is the way how you convert from binary to decimal by using this uh, these place values. Now moving on to the next slide. So now we are going to see a few more examples of uh, binary to decimal conversion. So it says convert a binary number uh, 110011 to a decimal number. So previously we saw one example of converting binary to decimal in which uh, we multiplied the uh, place values uh, to the binary number and then we got the decimal uh, number. So we're going to do the same thing here. So we have this number. So corresponding to that uh, we will going to find the decimal value. So so this is going to be 32, 16, 0, 0, 2, 1. So you know that this is 1, 2, and 4, 8, and this will be 16. So when you uh, put 2 to the power 4, uh, then that will be your 16. When you put uh, two, 2 to the power 5, then that will, that will give you 32. So when you add, when you multiply, uh, and that number with these binary number then you will get this and adding it up will make 51. So this binary number represent uh, 51 decimal. 
Now next is uh, convert the following binary numbers uh, into decimal numbers. So I hope you can, by now you have an idea how to convert uh, a binary number into the decimal number. So so as if we if you remember the place value, so this was one two four eight. So at one we if we multiply one by one is going to be one. Uh, two multiplied by zero is zero. 4 multiplied by 0 is 0, 8 multiplied by 1 is 8. So 8 plus 1 makes up 9. So that's how we got 9. And now we have all these are 1s. So we are just going to add uh, 1, 2, 4 and 8. So if you add them up, you will get uh, 15. Now next is 0, 0, 1, 0. So here it was 1, 2, 4, 8. 8, 4 and 1, they have a 0 uh, corresponding to that. So when they, when they will multiply, they will produce only a 0. So now we have just this 1 and uh, uh, so the base value multiplied by this 1 is going to be 2. So this is, this is 2. Uh, so this binary represents 2 decimal number. Now next we are going to study uh, decimal to binary conversion and we are going to see some examples uh, so in order to convert a binary a decimal into a binary uh, number uh, what we are going to do we are going to divide it by the base value which is 2 2 is the base value of a binary system so let's take an example in which uh, this 13 uh, we want to convert it into a binary number so this is our decimal uh, we want to convert into binary for that we are going to divide it by 2 2 is the base value so this here this uh, 13 is our dividend uh, 2 is our divisor and 6 uh, which is produced here is our quotient so if you multiply uh, 2 by 6 will produce 2 uh, 12 so 12 minus 13 is uh, 1 so 1 is the remainder and that's what you see here and then again uh, dividing this 6 by 2 so this will go here this will become your new uh, dividend and then divisor is going to remain the same uh, and then new quotient will be produced so let's see next step so this 6 came here uh, and then you divided this 6 by the base value which is 2 and uh, after doing that uh, your quotient will be 3 so if you multiply 2 by 3 that will make up 6 and 6 minus by 6 6 minus 6 is your 0 so 0 is the remainder so that's why you got 0 here now next uh, 3 will be divided by uh, 2 this 3 is taken over here divided by the base value 2 so when you divide your quotient will be 1 because when you multiply 2 uh, with uh, by 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 1 uh, that will make up 2 so 2 minus 3 is 1 and 1 is going to be your remainder so whatever remainder you got you're going to put in this way and then further the 1 is going to be divided by base value 2 so when 1 is divided by 2 we will get uh, 0 as our quotient and the remainder is going to be 1 in this case so that one uh, remainder you will put uh, in in this order so here um, if you see the order uh, this is 1 1 0 1 uh, on the right hand side uh, the digit which is there uh, on the right hand side this is called your least significant whereas the digit on the left hand side this is called your most significant bit so this is most significant bit and this is your least significant bit so the first remainder which you get you are going to put it at a least significant least uh, significant bit uh, position and then you will uh, go on towards the left side and whatever you get at the end that remainder is going to be put at a most significant uh, bit position so why do we name this as most significant bit and this one as a least significant bit uh, this is called least significant bit because if you change uh, this uh, 
uh, this bit to zero then this will not going to affect the number too much uh, you can uh, you can calculate that as well so uh, for example if you put here uh, zero right now this whole number uh, represents 13 and if you put here zero uh, then what will be your decimal that will be uh, your decimal is going to be uh, 12 so you understand like if you change this uh, least significant bit to zero uh, then it will change the number from 13 to 12 so that's why it is called your least significant bit however when you change the most significant bit then things are going to be different so right now this is uh, this number is 13 and if i make this one to zero then what will happen then your number is going to be zero one zero one and in the decimal uh, it's going to be uh, one plus four is five so one zero one zero one zero one is going to represent your five so you can see that how the number has changed from 13 to 5 so that's why this is called your most significant bit because if you change this uh, bit then it is going to impact the number a lot whereas if you change the least significant bit then this is not going to impact the whole number uh, so this was a decimal to binary conversion now let's uh, do some test and see how we can uh, calculate uh, some of the example decimal values into the binary so here uh, first we have a uh, decimal 11 so we're going to convert this into the binary so to convert into the binary you have to again use uh, base 2 uh, and you will divide base 2 with 11 uh, and then the quotient is going to be uh, divided again by the base value and then so on uh, you will do and whatever the remainder you will get uh, that you will put from the least uh, significant bit position to the most significant bit position now at this point i would request students to pause the video and do the calculation and see if your answer matches with uh, my answer so for decimal 11 the answer is going to be 1011 now let's try decimal 4 so again pause the video and try to uh, calculate for 4 so if you have done that then you will get uh, this value 0100 and then next we have 17 and again take a pause calculate and then come back and see uh, what you got so if you have done the calculation then you will get uh, one zero zero uh, zero one so these are the re results uh, for these three decimal numbers uh, which have been converted into the binary numbers now next is the electronic uh, translators so we have two electronic translators first is the encoders and second is the decoder so these devices they convert from decimal to binary numbers and from binary to decimal numbers so these uh, encoders and decoders they are very common uh, electronic circuits in all the digital devices uh, for example a pocket calculator for instance must have it it must have encoders and uh, decoders uh, to translate electronically from decimal to binary numbers and back to the decimal so if you see here as it states uh, this encoder what does it do it translates from decimal to binary whereas the decoders they translate from binary to decimal now next we are going to see uh, the electronic encoder and uh, one example of electronic encoder how it uh, converts uh, a decimal number into the binary so as you can see here this is the uh, keypad uh, in which we uh, press the decimal input and that goes into decimal to binary can, uh, encoder so this is encoder which is which will be in an ic form and with the help of this encoder at the output side we will get the binary output so let's try a uh, zero decimal if you put zero then this encoder we convert into binary so the four bit binary output will produce zero 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 
So let's try another number. Uh, five. Five. So with when you put five, you can see here how encoder has converted the number uh, into binary, which is zero one zero one. And then we have seven. So you can see the same the binary corresponding to the seven decimal is here zero one one one. So this is how uh, and then you have three one more. Uh, so it is zero zero one one. So these encoders, these are available in ICA form. So we'll be using uh, some of the encoders in our uh, digital labs also. And then you will get more familiar uh, using uh, the encoders. And this encoder translates from decimal to input binary output. So we have already seen that. Now next is uh, binary to decimal conversion. So what is this? This is our decoder. So decoder uh, decodes from uh, binary to uh, binary input to the decimal output. So one such example is given here. So some binary input is being fed from here into the uh, seven segment uh, display. Uh, you can see this is a seven segment uh, display and in between is a decoder. So this decoder is helping the binary to convert into the uh, decimal uh, number. So let's see uh, if we have zero or uh, binary input is zero. So it is decoding the binary input into decimal. So that's why we have this uh, zero on this uh, display. And then if we have one binary input is one zero 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 one. So uh, decimal corresponding to that is one. So that's what we see here. Uh, now let's see. Uh, 1010. So 1010 is uh, 2 in decimal. So that's how decoder is converting the 0010 binary input into decimal output. And, and you can see how these, this, uh, these LEDs are turned on. Now, let's see one more. So 0011 represents 3 decimal. So that's what we see here. This 3 is brightened up. And then we have 4. So 0, 1, 0, 0 is 4 uh, in decimal. So that's why we have 4 here. So and so on, like you can provide uh, further numbers here in the binary input. And then this will change to different uh, decimal value, uh, 8, 7, 6, 9, etc. So these electronic uh, decoders, they are available in IC forms. And uh, this decoder, this translates uh, from binary to decimal. And then decimals are shown on a on an uh, seven segment uh, LED display. So you see here, this is the LED display. And on this LED display, you were able to see the decimal output. And the decoder also drives the seven segment uh, display. So this is a decoder which drives this uh, seven segment display. So this was an example of a uh, decoder and how it can convert the binary into the decimal output. Now, next we have a hexadecimal uh, number system. So the hexadecimal number system, it uses the 16 symbols uh, starting from 0 to 9. So in that you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you have A, B, C, D, E, F, where A represents a 10 decimal, uh, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. The base value for a uh, hexadecimal number system is 16. Now let's see uh, some decimal numbers. And then corresponding to that, uh, some binary numbers. So these are the binary numbers corresponding to the decimal number. So this one represents 0001, 9 is 1001, 10 is 1010, 15 is uh, 4 times 1, and 16 is 10000. Now we're going to compare the binary with the hexadecimal number and then see how it looks like. Uh, so in hexadecimal, this binary number represents just 1 and uh, this binary represents just 9. 
this binary which is 10 and in decimal value is 10 um, is it represents a and then 15 is your f f um, and then 16 is your uh, 10 so this 10 is comes after f so so it's like from 0 to 9 and then a b c d e f and then 10 so like like in the decimal you have like 0 to 9 and after 9 you have like 10 um, in that similar way in hexadecimal the uh, the uh, the number system is from 0 to f and after f you have the 10 so here uh, the advantage of the hexadecimal system is its uh, usefulness in converting uh, directly from a 4-bit binary number and this uh, hexadecimal notation uh, this is uh, widely being used in microprocessor based systems to represent uh, for example 4 4 bit 8 bit 16 bit 32 bit or uh, 64 bit uh, uh, binary numbers now next we have uh, hexadecimal and binary conversions uh, so in this uh, we're going to learn uh, how to convert hexadecimal number to a binary number uh, for that we'll take an example uh, we have C3 uh, so 3 in binary is uh, 0 0 1 1 whereas C um, C is C stands for 12 in decimal and it's going to be uh, 1 1 0 0 in binary so this is the answer um, it can be easier for you to calculate if you remember the place value so here the place values were uh, place value was 1 uh, and this is 2 this is 4 this is 8 so 1 plus 2 is 3 so that's why you have 3 here and then uh, these two are 0 so this is uh, this is uh, 1 2 4 and 8 so 8 plus 4 is 12 in decimal but in uh, hexadecimal this 12 represents C so that's why you have this now next is binary to hexadecimal conversion so let's take an example so here is a binary uh, 1010 and 1110 uh, so let's first convert this 1010 into decimal so in decimal this is going to be uh, this is 8 plus 2 which is 10 so this is this represents uh, 10 decimal uh, whereas this one so here 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14 so this represents 14 in decimal so this is 14 this is 10 so if you remember that uh, in hexadecimal what is the number at the tenth place uh, uh, what number comes at the, at the tenth uh, at the tenth place so uh, at the tenth uh, number uh, in the hexadecimal is a and uh, 14th is E so that's why you have uh, E and E as answer now next decimal to hexadecimal conversion uh, so uh, to convert a decimal number uh, uh, into a hexadecimal number uh, you have to divide it by 16 16 is the base of hexadecimal so I hope you remember in the binary we divided by 2 because 2 was the base for uh, binary but here the base number is uh, 16 so let's take an example uh, so we have 47 um, we'll divide it by 16 uh, so this is our quotient so this is our dividend and this is our divisor and this is our quotient and if you divide 16 uh, uh, then what you'll get you will uh, you will get the remainder of 15 so 15 in hexadecimal is going to be F so this F represents 15 so now next what you are going to do is to divide 2 by 16 so this goes here so this will become your uh, dividend and uh, and you divide by 16 you will get 0 and the remainder is going to be 2 so you have 2 here so the so this F represents your least significant bit and 2 represents your most significant bit and this is the order you will put these number to 
uh, in the in the sequence and these two are your remainder so this is the way how you uh, do the uh, division in order to calculate from decimal to hexadecimal now let's see next hexadecimal to uh, decimal com conversion so to convert a hexadecimal number to db to a decimal number so let's see what we are going to do uh, to convert this number into decimal so 2 db is our um, hexadecimal number um, if you so for this first step is to know the place values so similar to binary where we use like 1 2 8 uh, 1 2 4 8 uh, similar to that we are going to use uh, the place values here so so 16 to the power 0 is 1 16 to the power 1 is 16 16 to the power 2 is 256 right so you will use this uh, so this is going to be 1 16 256 and then so on now next uh, hexadecimal which we have to convert is a uh, 2db so 2 here d here and b so to convert into uh, decimal so we're going to multiply uh, hexadecimal to the place values so if we multiply with the place values we will get the decimal so b uh, b we know that in decimal is represented as 11 so 11 multiplied by 1 and d represents uh, 13 in uh, in decimal uh, so 13 multiplied by 16 and then 2 multiplied by 256 so here you can see 2 multiplied by 256, 16 multiplied by 13, where 13 represents your D. Uh, and here 1 multiplied by 11, where 11 is your B. And once you have this, what uh, what the next step is to, you know, add them up. So when you add them up, uh, it will come out to be 731. So that's how you convert uh, from a hexadecimal to decimal. So this was our hexadecimal numbers, 2db, which represents uh, 731. So this is the same process we have followed, which we followed in the, in the conversion from binary to decimal. It just, uh, the base value is different in uh, hexadecimal. Here it is 16, there it was 2. Now let's do some tests. Uh, convert hexadecimal number a6 to binary so uh, now 6 uh, 6 if you remember by the place values 1 2 uh, 4 8 so in the middle like 4 and 2 makes up 6 which means it should be 0 1 1 0 and a is 10 uh, so uh, what makes 10 so um, 8 plus 2 makes 10 so which means 1010 zero, one, zero. so there you go uh, you have 1010 zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, uh, is the answer now next is a uh, convert hexadecimal number to decimal so we have hexadecimal number here 16 so if we convert this into decimal what we have to do uh, so 6 uh, so we have to uh, find out the place values so place values for these two is going to be for 6 is going to be uh, 1 and for 1 here the second place value is going to be 16 uh, so multiply that uh, multiply that uh, with this uh, with us uh, with 16 so 1 into 6 uh, plus uh, 16 into 1 uh, it will make up 22 so that's what our answer is next we have to convert uh, decimal 63 to hexadecimal and to do that we have to divide uh, 16 base uh, uh, to 63 so divide 63 by 16 base and then uh, keep on uh, tracking the remainder the first remainder which you will get you will put it at a least significant bit position and then so on and then you will uh, you will eventually find your uh, most significant bit so right now i would uh, request you to uh, pause the video uh, take some time to do the 
math and find out the number and then unpause the video and see if your answer matches with mine. So I hope by this time you might have uh, done the calculation and you would have got uh, 3F as an answer. Now next we have um, octal numbers. So uh, this octal number uh, were used in some older computer system uh, where they represent uh, binary information. So the octal number system, it uses uh, eight symbols. You can see here from uh, zero to seven. So octal numbers, they are uh, also referred to as base eight numbers. Uh, so let's let's see next and we have uh, some decimal here and then we have some binary and then uh, we will make comparison with the octal number. So there we have uh, octal. So one is in decimal and then we have this binary and then octal number this represents one. Um, six in binary so this is the same seven uh, this is going to be the same and this is eight uh, so eight in decimal uh, is this and then in binary it represents like this in octal so we know that our uh, so our number range is from zero to seven so after seven we have ten so that's why you see here ten and then eleven and then so on so the advantage of the octal uh, system is it's uh, it's, is its uh, usefulness in uh, converting uh, directly from a 3-bit binary number. Uh, so octal notation is used to represent uh, mainly binary numbers. Now let's uh, move on to the next slide. So now we have a practical suggestion on number system conversion. So the first suggestion is use a scientific calculation. It will save up some time, but you should definitely know like how the conversion is done. Uh, the, the reason behind that, how the basic, uh, uh, basic math, how it is done. But then once you are uh, dealing with a big system, then you can uh, use the scientific calculator to calculate, the, to do the conversion. And then most scientific calculators, they have uh, decimal, binary, octal, hexa, uh, hexadecimal modes and can either convert between codes or, or perform uh, arithmetic uh, in different number system. Next we have uh, most scientific calculators also have other functions that are valuable in digital electronics such as uh, AND or NOT, uh, ZOR and XNOR logic functions. So these are the logic gates which we'll be studying in the next coming lectures and uh, the calculator has the features to uh, to put the values uh, to use these logic gates uh, and you can get the uh, values at the output and that will make uh, the calculation very easy uh, so so yeah this is the end of the lecture thank you so much for watching